let's continue with some uh, more ways to overcome, um, you know, enabling. But here's the guilt trip of enabling. And I want mm -hmm. y'all to uh, chime in on this if you can. The guilt trip of enabling is trying not to be too hard. See, because there's also a fine line between, uh, just like it is between enabling somebody and genuinely helping someone who needs help. But then there's yeah. also another fine line between tough love and just yeah. being a jerk, right? And I think that's the guilt trip that a lot of enablers find themselves in yeah. If I don't do it, it won't get done. Uh, yeah. Or if I don't do it, the person won't manage or the person won't get by or what have you. And then if I do let tough love happen, we feel guilty. Like, for instance, uh, my personal situation is I, I have a 27 year old son who hasn't spoken to me in almost four years. Right. Because we were enabling him to live here rent free. And we wanted him to be on a trajectory to have his own. So we gave him 18 months to get gainfully employed. And, and we was putting some money together with him to help him get into a place that didn't happen. So the consequences of you not making that happen means you have to leave. And the guilt that we feel sometimes because now he's over on grandma's couch and uh, she's now enabling him and we're like, you know, should we have done things differently, right? Based on uh, the way he was raised and, and all that kind of stuff. But at the end of the day, uh, we know that we gave him every chance and every bit of help. And still, the offer is still on the table. I still got first and last month's rent for you whenever you decide to go do your own thing. Um, yeah. I, I'm just not going to enable you to be in my house with a bad attitude setting yeah. a poor example for your brothers not putting your best foot forward and all that kind of stuff so uh but i think there is a huge deal with the feeling of guilt when you yeah. have to put your foot down and be tough so what what are your thoughts on that you know what i, I agree um i did that with my um with with my daughters um and and i'm transparent they know that um they know dealing with their mama I'm transparent, so my stuff come out. Um, that um, just with, with them, you know, when you reach a certain age, um, that back, um, that if you can't do certain things within the household, that that is the, the next step, you know. And when certain things um, occurred or did not occur in the household when they were a certain age, that um, let me help you get your own, okay? Um, and in words of my mom, if you too grown, you need your own. Uh, <laughs> right. And, and, and that's that's what I did. I helped him. Let me help you pay your first month's last, you know, first month's last. Let me help you get the apartment. Let me help you get the application fee. Let me help you get the money together. Let me help you push out, you know, to be successful on your own because that's what needs to happen, you know. And it wasn't a matter of not wanting them here, but it was more of, um, it was a matter of tough love. It was a matter of let me help you be independent because us in the same space cohabitating, um, I was real enough to admit that it wasn't going to work. It didn't mean the mommy didn't love you. It was. It meant that I was real enough to say, mm -mm, you're a woman and I'm a woman. And although there's love between us, this here, <laughs> this here ain't going to work. Somebody going to work. Gonna yeah, somebody yeah. got somebody got to live, somebody got to die. I can tell you who ain't dying. <laughs> who ain't dying and who ain't leaving. <laughs> exactly. <laughs> I can tell you that. So, um, and, and, and in the moment, they, you know, there was some little things feeling like, like oh, you're putting me out. No, 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 no. I'm encouraging you to live. Right. Oh, there. Yeah. yeah. I'm encouraging you to live over there. Go That's back. It. I but now, wrong people on. They, love it. they love independence. In the moment, they feel some way. But now, man, amazing. Amazing. Yeah. yeah. Uh, so a couple more. Uh, pra uh, participate in counseling and therapy, both for yourself and for your family. Listen, if you go talk to somebody about your enabling behaviors, I think that's where Michelle's favorite term is, term is going to come out, that you are in a codependent relationship. You like enabling because you get a sense of fulfillment that you're helping someone 
and you need to stop it. So you're equally as addicted to that person's trauma as they are to whatever situation that they're in. So make sure that you talk to a professional about that. Uh, make a plan to cope with your loved one's um, unreliability, right? Uh, you have to live with, hey, this person ain't got it together. Don't look like they're going to get it together anytime soon. How do I move on, right? Uh, and yeah. then another one says, make concrete boundaries and consequences and stick to them. Listen, uh, and that was kind of what we did with my son. Listen, I was paying for you to live somewhere else. It was called College University. So you get an education. You yeah. decided that you didn't want no parts of that life. No yeah. judgment here. You want to come and get your grown man on. Okay, here's what getting your grown man on means. You get gainfully employed where you make enough money to be able to afford a place for you to live, um, period. And we're going to help you do that. And you've got a finite amount of time to get that done. I think 18 months was reasonable. And then even when we got down to the last month, it's like, hey, if you've got something in the works and you need an additional three months, let's talk about it. And that didn't happen as, as well. The deadline came and um, and he came upstairs. was like, you know, mama, you really going to let him put me out? Oh, not the mama card. It's like, uh, and my sugar was like, no, I'm putting you out. It's, you got to go, man. <laughs> he ain't doing nothing. You got to go, brother. Uh, so, you I mean, this, you going to let that man put me out? <laughs> yeah. that man so 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 you you know you've got to set clear boundaries and yeah. stick to them and i think that is that it's tough it's easier said than done no doubt about it but uh you cannot continue to let people take advantage of you and you know the the bible teaches that we should be charitable right but here's my thing the bible said also says that god will bless you until your cup runneth over wow and when your cup runneth over the overflow spills into your saucer when we are charitable we're supposed to be giving from our saucer not our cup some of us have cups that will never run over because we're always giving from our cup mm. and because of that i help you with your rent now i'm struggling to pay my mortgage I help mm. you with your car note. Now they looking for mine. What? I help put food in your mouth. I'm over here eating top ramen. Okay. Why? Because we're giving from our cup. No, you let your cup run it over. And now you can have whatever's going on in this saucer. And yeah. if ain't nothing in this saucer, I can't help you. That, yeah, of course, you, as I know you got it. Yes, I got it, but I don't got it to give because it has yet to run over. So I think we have to make that distinction when we're helping people, especially in financial matters. Uh, and I know that's a huge part of enabling in our community. We're struggling to get this group economics thing down packed because we got a lot of people who refuse to pull their own weight. So uh, that was my preacher moment uh, brought to you by Monetize My Life. Uh, go to monetizemylifenow.com and <laughs> grab a free copy of <laughs> <laughs> so it's eight o'clock, Michelle. Last words. No. Um, last words. I miss Barack Obama. <laughs> Shout out to throwing all the shade in the world at the little graduation thing. I had yeah. to get that off before we get off the air because I love and miss my real president, my Uncle Barack. Boom. That's all I gotta say in closing. Yeah, shots fine. We heard it, President Barack. We heard it. Shots fired. They didn't get by us. We were paying attention. Uh, <laughs> so with that, ladies and gentlemen, we thank you guys for tuning in. Uh, Chai Smith said, great show this morning. Appreciate you guys tuning in. Always remember, uh, you guys can go download the show at iTunes, Stitcher, iHeart, wherever you get your favorite podcast at. Also, make sure you subscribe to YouTube and Facebook. And Michelle has got something else you want to say. We had a thousand uh, Facebook subscribers, so shout out to all you guys yeah. that have subscribed to the page. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Thank you. One 
5,001 fans so far. So thanks for tuning in and always engaging. We love and appreciate each and every one of y'all. Until we talk to y'all next time, we want you to get your money up because you absolutely can do it. But more importantly, you deserve to do it, each and every single one of you. Now hustle up.